So now I'm asking anybody, the, the Jew or Christian, who is this I? They say it's God. God. And I can also see this God talking. It's not Moses. Moses didn't say, I will raise them up. God is speaking through Moses. Right. So we say it is the word of God. Yes. We recognize. No, no disputes. You know, between me and you, or between the Jew and us. No problem. That's right. This is the word of God. On the very face of it, we can see that it is sounds like God talking. In the book of Isaiah, we read, God says, I, I am God and there's none else. I am God and there's none like me. Hmm? So who's talking? God. God. Although the words, we didn't see God, we didn't hear Him, but the words that are uttered by Isaiah the prophet, are words as if they were put into his mouth like a mouthpiece. He was the mouthpiece of God. Because these are not his words. He was not claiming divinity. Although the words came from his lips, I, I am God. And there's no savior besides me. Now he's not claiming that, that position. This is God talking through him. So he said, now we can recognize quite easily the word of God in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Then there is another type of evidence in the Bible which we recognize as the words of a prophet of God, like Jesus. Uh, brother, let me see. I like, I like people when you are chatting, that you give undivided attention. Mm -hmm. So while you are trying to see something and read something, you said that is not fair to the speaker. I, I feel that the common courtesy demands that when you are asking a man a question, mm -hmm. and when he is answering, you look at him. Am I right, my son? You ask me a question, and then you start fumbling and start finding pages, then it's not fair to me. Am I correct? Oh, well, you made specific references. No, no, that's, that's right. Wait that's a minute. I, I want to check up. You know, where is it? As I have what chapter, what verse? If I have it ready, I give it to you. I mean, that's only you're going to ask me that question if you doubt me. But if you think that's like gold, this is genuine, this quotation is coming from my book. You recognize it, then you're going to give me trouble to say, where is it? I said, Isaiah, what chapter, what verse? No, you're trying to be funny. Because you can recognize if you know your book, that this is from your Holy Bible. Am I correct? Yes, sir. I said, I, I am God and there's none else. I am God and there's none like me. You recognize that this is supporting my Bible. Unless you feel that this guy is mm -hmm. twisting something, then say, now where is it, uncle, if you don't know? So I have to look at the reference. But I always reference yeah. my, the, my Bible. No, no, right. Okay. But suppose now it's not handy. I That's always a, reference my no, no. So, I so that time. offends you, I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. You leave it up. Okay. Leave it up. So, the word of a prophet of God, like Jesus, he said, it has been said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her, that committed adultery with her already in his heart. That is the word of a prophet of God. God, Jesus said, I say unto you. It has been said by them of old time, that whosoever puts away his wife, let him give her a bill of divorcement. But I say unto you, that I is Jesus. And again, it has been said by them of old time, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, this is not evil. He who strikes you on the right cheek, give the other. Now we say these are the words of a prophet of God. The mouthpiece of God. He is talking. That's the second type of evidence. Word of God, word of the prophet. Then there's a third type of evidence where we read, while he, Jesus, was going forth into the way, he saw a fig tree in the distance with leaves. Happily he came up to it, one magnifying fix there on. But when he came, there was nothing but leaves, for the season was not yet. These are the words of an eyewitness or a ear witness of a person writing from hearsay. Three different types of evidence in the Bible. Then there is another type of evidence in the Bible which we can't attribute to God or a prophet or even to a sane person. Even to a sane person. He said, now these are lunacy of the highest order. So, and there are other types which no decent man can read out to his mother or sister or daughter or even to his fiancée if she's a good lady. Four types of evidence in the Bible. Now we in the house of Islam, we also have something like that. 
we have the word of God, we have the word of the prophet, we have the word of the historian, and we have also our fairy tales and pornographic material. But they are not in one book. They are not in one book. The word of God is in the Quran. The word of the prophet is in the books of tradition called Hadith. The word of the historian, we have our great Ibn Taymiyyah, Imam Ghazali, so on, so on, so on, so they wrote beautiful things. Then we have our Arabian Nights, which the Arabs before Islam, before Islam, they spoke around the campfire, passing time, you know, filthy dirty stories, passing time. But that's in a separate book. The word of God is separate, the word of the Prophet is separate, the word of the historian is separate, and the, our pornogra pornographic material is separate. Whereas in your case, everything is in one book. That's the difference. So now, you show me this, some lunacy there, and you say, now you accept this as the word of God? I said, no. But you believe in the Bible? I said, look, there are things there that I have no hesitation in accepting. Like the first commandment. The ten Jesus. commandments. The ten commandments. No hesitation in accepting them as God's word. But you say, what about this? I said, no, 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 this I don't accept. So that is the difference between us. Now actually, between us, it's a battle between two books. The black and the white. The Bible and the Quran. Now, it's, it's worth, this is now, I don't know, I would rather appear to you that I know your Bible. I have some knowledge of your Bible. Whether you have any knowledge of the Quran, Do you have any knowledge at all about the Qur'an? Have you read the Qur'an at all? Yes. I'm asking. You have oh, I haven't. No. Huh? You haven't? No, I have not. You have no idea. You're sir, my brother? I've read very little. You're sir? i read Sven Hadith. Yes. I've also So you see now, uh, you know, we'll be talking about something about which you know nothing. Like an argument that corrupted between a British and a German. The, German, the British says, you know, Shakespeare was the greatest, uh, you know, art, artist of all times. And the German says, his Goethe of Beethoven was. You know, and the argument, debating, nearly come to blows. So somebody comes along and says, now look, wait, 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 wait. You German, did you read Shakespeare? He says, no. And you British, did you read Goethe? He says, no. <coughs> what the hell are you guys arguing about? <laughs> But we can share, so now look, this is what Goethe said, or this is what we told us, this is what the Quran says, this is what the Bible says. And we can expand our knowledge on any topic. So now, what does the Quran say about this? What does the Bible say about that? About Jesus, for example. Jesus Christ. He is described to us in the Holy Quran as one of the mightiest messengers of God. I'm sharing this with you. We believe in his miraculous birth, according to the Quran, which many modern day Christians, including the bishops of the Anglican Church, I think you call them Episcopals in America. What yeah. Episcopal is here is hmm? right. Which they don't believe today, but we believe. We believe that Jesus gave life back to the dead by God's leave, and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's leave. We are going to get it. We are going together. The only real difference between us is the divinity of Christ. You say Jesus is God, He is God incarnate, He came down to earth, God Almighty came down to earth, He was born in the stable, circumcised on the eighth day, and at the age of 33 He got crucified for the sins of mankind. We say, no, Jesus is not God. That's the main dividing line. We say he never claimed to be God. Nowhere, nowhere in the Christian Bible, anywhere in any version of your Bible, does he say, I'm God, or he says, worship me. It's an amazing situation. One thing that I have to say is that yes, yes. I'm probably a little bit different than, than some of the Christian beliefs because I don't believe in the Trinity. Okay? Right. But I do believe in the birth of Jesus Christ as being a miracle. I also believe in him being a prophet. But I also believe that he died for our sins. And as being the ransom for, for our sins, being in...